are with a new case. But uh, before we discuss this, I would like to thank all of you for, uh, for writing and for uh, being interested in this kind of uh, technical uh, uh, videos that we are uh, showing you on YouTube. So uh, sorry if I cannot answer back to everyone because emails and uh, notes have been uh, quite a bit. But uh, besides doing this on YouTube, I do work in a lab and do uh, daily cases. And this is one of them. This is a daily case that I would like to show you. And uh, this is one of those uh, cases that you have to deal with. Uh, and uh, sometimes you really don't know if you're going to get it right or uh, if you are following the direction that your dentist and your patient will like for you to uh... okay so when a case gets in the lab besides uh, getting the picture that you seen before I do get also um, a prescription from my doctor and uh, right here you can see this is a prescription it's a prescription a medical custom-made device and uh, with this prescription I do have the patient's name but uh, you don't see it here because uh, of a privacy matter but uh, I can see the age of the patient this is patient is between 40 and 60 years old I can see the sex if it's a male or a female it's a male in this case I can see the shape of the face he's a round face person and uh, the color of the skin is uh, is very light color skin and the kind of device that I need to uh, I need to build in this case is a crown and bridge just a regular porcelain case uh, then again I do ask for what kind of a ceramic does the doctor want to use because I do use low fusion ceramics I do use also high fusion ceramics in this case a high fusion ceramic was was uh, asked for and uh, then I asked if he wants any shoulder edges uh, ceramic shoulder edges and doesn't point nothing out so he doesn't want anything and uh, the kind of metal he wants also a nickel chrome cobalt metal I also do furnish gold and platinum or palladium or other kind of uh, metals structures in this prescription it's uh, requested the execution of uh, the medical device and in this case the doctor writes to me that it's necessary to build a six unit metal ceramic bridge and uh, I can see right here that the request is from a canine to a wisdom tooth so it's uh, six units that go from a canine all the way back to a wisdom tooth and this is the first thing that uh, I get to know just looking at the prescription that this man in between 40 and 60 is gonna have to get this done then again my prescription uh, can be uh, fulfilled with uh, knowing more about if uh, the doctor uh, needs to send me more information he will write here that uh, um, he can write here some notes about uh, the, the project the technical project and the and eventually uh, any kind of execution needed for this device but there's nothing written here uh, then again uh, it can be pointed out on this prescription if there are any other devices and any other materials in the mouth of the patient you know, this also uh, can be written out but you know uh, this hasn't been pointed out also because uh, I have received uh, a picture of the mouth so uh, looking at the picture I can see already that there are other bridges but concerning the materials maybe the patient was not aware of what he was wearing in the mouth I mean he didn't know what metal it was so he couldn't even tell the doctor also because when the patient walks in the dental office he does fill in uh, a sheet of paper where he does write down what he does have and if he doesn't know he will write down you know just what you see here so eventually I did not get this information because maybe the patient doesn't know then uh, I get to know what kind of impressions I do get at what time they have been uh, taking these impressions and if they have been uh, disinfected now there's no uh, question here 
and uh, also uh, if there has been any facial arch here used in there, so there, there hasn't been, because we do uh, articulate on, uh, on articulates that do take uh, facial ar uh, arches. And uh, what kind of bite has been taken in? The bite has been in wax, so it's been rodent in wax. Then again, if there's any models that have been uh, developed, no. If, if there are any steady models of an upper or an inferior, no. And if there's other information that must be given. In the end, I do get the day that I must uh, deliver the metal try in, because we do metal tries in. And that was supposed to be given on the 25th of November at 18.30 and uh, hasn't been written out yet for when the ceramic must be tried but anyway this is the signature of my doctor and uh, that's it this is all the information I do get written by a prescription as you can see and that's it to begin with so here is the picture that the dentist uh, forward to my email and uh, because most of our communication goes uh, through email and uh, through Skype and so uh, you know this is what is uh, requested by law for us to follow and uh, there's no contact between uh, uh, the technician and the patient so uh, I have to be aware of all these elements to, a, to be able to give my customer uh, the best device he can get. Okay, in this case here, I do see that we do have a four unit ceramic ridge right here in the front. And then there is this other bridge here in the back. And I've seen that from the impression. Under here, I do have all natural teeth. These are all natural teeth, and I can see the color that the patient do has down here. So, uh, what I will be replace, re replacing are these elements in the back. Now, I don't even know if this is a temporary bridge or whatever. For all I know, it might be you know what the patient uh, had in the mouth as a as a porcelain. Okay, now I got a, a side photo of the case, and uh, this is without the temporary or the old bridge on it, and I can see that uh, where I need to replace the canine here, I have a post core, a metal post core. I see my gingival conditions, and uh, hiding here in the dark somewhere there's got to be a molar which I cannot see and in the back of course that wisdom tooth what's interesting about this picture is the contrast of the of the color of these centrals which you know if we do compare to this only lateral right here they do match somehow but then again, I do see a very rich color in this lower region of the mouth. I see that there is an amalgam. I see a, a very rich color in the cervical area of this molar, in this premolar. Um, very dark enamels, violet and dark enamels done to, uh, to these uh, inlays in the mouth. Anyway, uh, this is another pick to study from to understand the conditions of the patient and the condition, the working condition of the, the, of the dentist and what he needs to replace.